in three, two, one. We're live, everybody. Hey. <laughs> welcome. Hey, welcome. everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We are so happy you guys are with. We are so happy you guys are with us. Uh, we are going to make a delectable treat today. And I realize it's St. Patrick's Day, so you probably, if you don't have all the ingredients for this today, but that's okay. You can make this, this treat for any holiday. I'll probably be making this again for Easter. Well, there's variations too, because this is all green, but you've done a variation of this with like colors. other colors. Yeah, so it's actually a So it's actually treat. really easy. So we are making leprechaun, well, what did you call this? I call this the perfect Patty's Day party popcorn, and it is essential. I looked this up, I did some research. Patty's Day is spelled with two Ds. If you're going to abbreviate it, it is not TT, it is DD, and it's offensive otherwise. Oh. So, P A D D Y apostrophe S. Yeah, just getting that little, out there, guys. I did some a research. Bit of information. Didn't know that. I'm gonna rotate this because it's awkwardly off center. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, so you guys, this is what our popcorn looks like. It is just like a white chocolate popcorn, and then I drizzled some other colors on it, some sprinkles. But I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. Um, so first of all, the recipe just says popcorn. It says regular, but I actually like to use kettle. So a I'm sweeter. Gonna... Uh, also, real quick, I think we dove into this super quickly. You may be wondering, where's the rest what? of everybody? It's, uh... Oh guys, we, we got rid of them. This, <laughs> this, uh, this morning, or this recipe, this, uh, live, they may be popping in and out, but they are off playing, having a good time. We're actually headed out to a St. Patrick's Day party here in a minute, so they are getting ready for that. Uh, and as soon as we wrap this up, we're actually going to take this treat to the party. So they are out, uh, getting ready for that, kind of playing, and they may pop in and out, but the kids are just out and around, so it's just me and Mindy today. Yeah. So, sorry, mostly just Mindy. I'm just here to kind of, like, supplement, He's throw in dad jokes. To... Talk. Show off my green shirt, things like that. Okay. You know what? This is a fantastic green shirt. I hope you keep this more every year. Mine, on the other hand, you guys, I bought last year, and it's from China, and the sizing was a little bit. I could off. fit like three people in here, so. <laughs> yeah, it's a good size. Come good along. size. Um. Okay, so a couple things I wanted to tell you. The magic of TV here. Um. I decided to go ahead and melt my chocolate beforehand. Um. One thing to know with chocolate, it's really easy to burn. Very easy. I feel like it's easy to burn. Almost as easy as toast. Really? Do you know? I burn toast all the time. You <laughs> burned his toast this morning. <laughs> I um, did this morning. But I always do it in like 30 second increment increments because otherwise I've done it before and I'm like, wait, why isn't this stirring? Oh my gosh, it hasn't melted yet. Nope, it's burned. So uh, that's something that I always do. And you guys, I love these Wilton um, candy melts. They're super great. They come in a ton of different colors. And if there's a color you don't want, you want to make it, Mix two colors together because I remember one time I tried to make a color. I, I don't know if it's just me or if I did something wrong, but I tried putting food coloring in chocolate. It doesn't work. Okay, I've always wondered this though, and maybe there are others wondering as well. Are they flavored or just color? They're just color. So green isn't mint, it's just like the color green. Uh, it's actually artificial vanilla flavor. Ooh, sounds yeah, like artificial. heaven. Yeah, Sounds like heaven. <laughs> hey, real quick, uh, Mackenzie Lutz said they saw us in a Brock and Boston video, and we're like, what up? It's the Binghams. We love Brock and Boston. Oh Shout gosh. out to them. They are the cutest. We were hanging out with them ever. at like a TV premiere the other night, and Ryler just runs off and teams up with them, and he literally is in heaven anytime they get together. So oh, we love them. He is so cute, and they are just like, like such good boys. They really for are. Ryler to be around. You know, you want your kids to hang out with kids that are like good influences. They're going to teach them good things because they're like four years older than Ryler. Doesn't and this look is an like impressionable it. age. Yeah, Ryler's a big dude. I think he's taller than them, actually. But um, in fact, if you guys saw the picture that I posted today on our Insta stories, oh my gosh, Ryler, Ryler is, so, is big. so much taller. Like Crew is kind of staying where he was. And Brexton's growing, and Ryler's growing, and Crew is just... He's just stuck there. Stuck. But he may hit that spurt. I mean, it comes oh, different for different people. He for sure will. I think he might. But he is kind of saying, and him and Brexton are... The shirt they're wearing today, I bought the same size for both of them. So, Brex is growing, Ryler's growing, and Crew is... He's just right there. He's just staying there. But guys, if you haven't checked them out, Rock and Boston on YouTube, their YouTube channel. Cutest couple of kids stuff. ever. Check them out. Um, okay, I think our... Sorry, I'm distracting you, but I'm trying to... Interact here You're and good. also keep the recipe going flowing. So popcorn's cooking, I can hear it popping. Chocolate melting tips. They're not uh, necessarily flavored, so this isn't like minty, although I do see that you've got uh yeah, so this recipe has MMs in it, and you want green ones. You could pick out the green ones from the regular bag, or these ones are crispy mint ones. They're kind of like, you know, well they're actually called crunchy mint, but um, and then another thing is um Macy's grocery store, if you guys, I don't know if that's a Utah thing. 
Macy's? I think it is, yeah. Yeah, it might be a Utah thing. They have sprinkles in every single color. Like every holiday. And Valentine's, they do pink. I wonder if they're back there separating them or if they just make a batch of that color. Can you imagine they just have rainbows and the holidays come up? They're like, all right, let's get all the pink, white, and reds out. I love you. <laughs> I would take that job. Brandon would take that job. Can you go one for me? One for you. Okay, <laughs> so our there. popcorn is very hot. Um, you want to get all the kernels out. So the way I do this... I wish you guys could see. Laz does this every time we cook. He's right here. Like, right there. Oh, Our cat. Anyway, so sorry, what's going on? cute. Lazzy, <laughs> you're up on my cat. Hey, do you want to say hi to everybody real quick? Come sorry, on. guys. I'm throwing this in the garbage. Um, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back you go. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pull out all the kernels. Um, the easiest way to do this, I found, is put it on a cookie sheet. And keep in mind, when you do this right after it comes out of the microwave, they are still very hot. Um, but you guys, this is one, this is a recipe similar to one that Brandon's parents have made, Brandon's mom makes, all the time. And it's kind of like the Jolene staple. So, whoa. Um, this is one I'm excited to make. Mine is, a, I feel like, a teeny, teeny bit different than hers. And I'm actually making this a little bit different than the recipe said. It said to throw the green chips all over first, the green melted chocolate. Not going to do that. I like how it's kernel-less. Then no matter what, every bite you're getting, like, goodness, you don't grab a kernel and bust a tooth. I know, guys, nice. but I really like the kernels. They're really bad for I like them like this. Like, you guys probably will like see half it. Pop. When it's like, it kind of popped, but just like a dud, like it failed. I love these. Just the crunchy, and then you got a little half pop. Mm. Okay, Delish. there's actually kind of a lot in there. Okay, so then I'm going to put my popcorn into a bowl. I forgot it was kettle. That surprised me that it's sweet. Okay, keep going. Sorry, surprising. Welcome to the party, Brandon. Yes, thank you. Uh, guys, a lot of kids asking where are a lot of kids. Yeah, the kids, I don't know, maybe your kids. A lot of people asking where are the kids. Sorry, we talked about that at the beginning. Uh, they may be popping in, maybe not, but it's actually kind of nice uh, and quiet. Popping. So we're, we're just going to enjoy that while we can. But they are getting ready for a St. Patrick's Day party that we are headed off to as soon as we wrap this up. So they are just getting their clothes on, shoes on, uh, until they're out and around. You may be able to hear them as they approach. Sounds like they're getting closer. We'll see. All right, okay, so all the popcorn is de-kerneled. Don't even know if that's what you'd call it. So I've melted a cup of melt. white chocolate chips. Um, I just use like regular baking chips. I don't buy the Wilton ones in white because they are a little bit more pricey. Um, so I'm literally just gonna drizzle this all over. Mm, I just wanna open my mouth up and catch a little bit. White chocolate's actually not my favorite. I like it. I do. I'm a milk chocolate person. I don't like dark chocolate. Milk is probably I my, like dark. I guess that'd be like my main go-to, but I do like white chocolate quite a bit. Okay, while you're pouring that, I gotta get some super chat love going here because I've got what? the screen pulled up and we we've got awesome a whole screen. Oh wait, sorry, before I do that, maybe Brexton can come and help me because Brexton's in the house. <gasps> ah! the crowd Everyone's asking, where are the kids, where's Brexton? Okay, Brexton Doodle, do you wanna say, no, okay, so we got Cool Dog, Shania Love, uh, you told me your real name once before and I cannot remember because this is not, this is just the username you're given on YouTube, HKJUHU Campbell, saying, get the kids something that they would like, thank you so much. Uh, Desiree, Brianna Young, what up, saying hi from Massachusetts and they've been watching for one and a half years, thank you so much, that is a long time dedicated to us. Um, Summer Parker, new subscriber, love seeing that back to back. We had somebody love here, it. year and a half, somebody brand new, love it. Let's see, uh, what would a year and a half ago have been? How many subscribers would we have had then? I have no idea. No clue, I have to look at the calendar. I'm trying to figure out what time of year it would even be because I can't do the half year. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think mom might need that to spread stuff. Oh, but you can't eat okay. this if you want like a bust I'm going to interrupt dad then. Okay, sorry, we'll get back to these in one sec. I stirred in all of the white chocolate and then I'm going to just put it on a baking sheet. I've had several of you ask about this baking sheet. I put it yesterday on my stories. Um, this is Nordicware. I bought it at Sam's Club. It came in a three pack. My mom actually bought it. Thanks, mom. Um, they are not at Sam's Club right now, but I've had several people message me like they're at Bed Bath & Beyond. They're at Costco, so... We found them on Instagram. They have an Instagram with a website, but... Anyways, I love these pans. Easy to clean, easy, just awesome. Okay, and on my last batch, I did this backwards. I'm gonna do it differently this time. I'm gonna put my sprinkles on now so it'll stick to the white chocolate. Do it quick, do it quick. <laughs> I'm actually- Rex likes watching himself on the delay. He says, I do this, ha, 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 and then I look right here to see when I do it. So let's wait and see my ha, ha. There it is, right there. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing some green. Oh, you guys, it's looking festive. You can actually see it, I think. And I 
actually have these gold ones from last year. One of our amazing subscribers, one of Amazing You, sent us these last year. We'll put some little gold coins in here. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Those are perfect for this. And I'm kidding. Yeah, that's all right. Um, and then our green melting chips. So again, I did these 30 seconds. And guys, I love these Pyrex, oh, this is Anchor Hawking. Um, oh, that one's a Pyrex. I love these glass measuring cups. Tanya saying watching for, uh, from Canada, hold on, who's one? Then Cheyenne watching first live ever. What up, Cheyenne K? Woo, welcome. You get to see the real us. You get to see <laughs> that I say, okay, guys, like a hundred times. Brandon always edits that out. <laughs> Okay, guys. That's where Hazy gets it from, for sure. Okay, okay guys, do this. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. I'm so excited. Exciting. This is gonna be exciting. I'm so oh my excited. gosh. <laughs> guys, I let it. And drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle. Oh my gosh, I like it. This is so good. Are you hoping that I drizzle? Just a little bit on my finger on accident. <laughs> Me and Brex could share it. Whoa, mom's going crazy. Okay, mom's doing some serious drizzling here. Let's get back to this. Matthew, what up? Uh, let's see, Emma, Joseph, it's TT or TNT. Oh, and uh, TNT says, saw me and Rai Guy in a Universal Studios commercial. Yes, I think we maybe have talked about that before, but we were in a Universal Studios commercial back when we went there uh, as their VIP guest. That was kind of exciting <laughs> for us. Um, and they used some of the footage from the Jurassic Park roller coaster. Uh, and also going into Hogwarts, and they use that on a Universal Studios commercial. So that it was, was really cool. It was really awesome. Uh, Valerie Anderson saying loves the whole family and loves Lazzie, who just got his own Thank little cameo you. just now. Raul Kapoor uh, asking if Riley's still in awe of his room. I think we all are. Like, I am so blown away at how awesome that room turned out. And it's you guys made us feel even better about it because your like overwhelming reaction to it has been so cool. And hands down, the favorite part has been um, you can do this if you wash your hands. Okay. Um, hands down, the paper part is that Michelle's photography people. I would say that combined with the shelves, people love the surfboard shelves. They're it's actually cool. been like uh, pretty close, which are two of my favorite things. Yeah, um, the shelves, you guys, I found those at PB Teen. I think it's Pottery Barn. Um, they are so cute. Yeah, Pottery Barn Teen. It's like a. Yeah, pot, yeah. yeah. And then the Ride the Wave sign, we almost didn't put that up. A lot of people are saying put it on the opposite wall. I kind of want to do a mural on that wall, but I don't know if that'll ever happen. Like a giant wave or something, like actual artistry. Like I'm gonna do it, obviously. Just kidding. But some. But like, what happens when he grows up and he doesn't want a wave on his wall? Anymore? Then you just like go over with gray again. It's just one wall. So I don't know if it's that easy. I don't know if it's that easy, okay. but it seems like a cool idea to me. All right, Brexy. Oh, Brexy, you're gonna have to go around for that one. Okay. Hey, grab a couple of them and try to drop them where the chocolate is. So that way, if you put them on the chocolate, it will stick. Uh, okay. While well, Brexy's decorating these so beautifully, I'll put my laptop out of the way. Heather Forrester, we love you so much. Hi, and Happy St. Patty's Day and spelling it correctly. Guys, what a lesson for you there. I didn't know that. I looked it up and I was like, all of these mean tweets for people who spell it wrong. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I spelled it wrong my whole life, so I'm glad I'm I knew it. I'm pretty sure I have too. I'm pretty sure I spell everything wrong. If you guys ever notice on our Insta stories, if there's a spelling error, I posted it. <laughs> uh, let's see, Bolts saying hello all the way from the UK. Kelly Hutchins has been watching since 25,000 subs. Whoa, that's, that's like a while taking ago. it way back. That's a while ago. Ryan Fulton, do you guys ship to Northern Ireland? I believe we do. We ship everywhere. It's almost, there's very few places we don't ship unless there's some and kind guys, of restrictions on it. That is valuable information today because, <laughs> because we have tomorrow, we're going to be talking about. In tomorrow's vlog, which will air Tuesday, so we don't want to like have any tease you too far out or be too disappointed. Uh, we will be talking okay. about. Okay. The latest and greatest merch and swag, and it's been actually kind of hard as it's sitting around the house to make sure we don't accidentally show any of it. Um, Clayton Hunter and Emma Heyer saying what up, and Emma is saying that we should do some meet and greets, and I kind of agree. We did like kind of one last night, not really, not really at all, but we went to Taco Amigo for a fun fundraiser and kind of announced it on Instagram, and we had a bunch of people show up and say hi. It was hi. cool. We were able to take some pictures. We actually brought some merch with us and handed it out. Um, so it was very cool meeting some of you guys and running into you guys there. Except for Brandon decided to take a bite of Hazel's quesadilla. I, not only did I try to take a bite of it, it was like rolled up, and I'm assuming it's just cheese inside of a tortilla, so I tried to sneak a bite so that she didn't notice and she didn't flip out. <laughs> I wanted one little bite of that delicious quesadilla. Turns out it's packed with sauce. Delicious sauce. Really good sauce. So I took a bite. It squirted everywhere. All over the well. All one over of the my house. shirt. All over one of the merch hats that was sitting in my lap. Uh, yeah. So we threw that one away. It was pretty fantastic. Well, we just didn't throw it away. We just didn't give it out. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, we would love to do more meet and greets. It's just hard to find the right location, you know. 
seeing when people are around and I don't know. Heather Forrester is literally paying to find out when the new merch is available, straight up wants to know. I'm gonna say this is when, and I'm putting our photographer, Michelle, my sister, no on the pressure. spot. Uh, Tuesday afternoon. I think that's doable. I think it's very doable. And you guys. Tuesday afternoon, it should be available. I've already built it all out on the site. We just need pictures so you have something to click on. There's nothing there right now, so. Uh, it's pretty cool. We added some new things besides t-shirts. So that's gonna be kind of exciting. Well, there's been like refreshes. Don't that. Nah, just can't give any more. Okay. Tuesday afternoon. Okay. All right. right. How are we doing on this? Guys, so it's all done. I want to show you closer. Dad, can you move to the other thing? This one? Yeah. All right, guys. Here's whoa. Hi. That's my giant face in you. <laughs> your screen. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's so yummy. It's delectable. Has lots of sprinkles. I could. I think it could add some more, but. Um, yeah, this is all done, so it's super easy. So for spring, do a light pink, do a yellow, do a light purple, um, pastel, chocolate melt, throw in some of the Easter colored M&Ms, and you guys can make it for 4th of July, do red, white, and blue with red drizzle. There are so many different combinations you can do for anything, so. But it's perfect, it's colorful, it's tasty. We're about to take it to a party right now. In fact, we gotta end this live a little bit early so we can get off to this party, probably now-ish. Right now-ish. Um, but we're gonna take this delicious treat with us and you would be the hit at any party if you show up with the delicious popcorn or this is a single serving size for me. Yeah. So if you just wanna sit and watch a movie and eat this, it's perfect for Well, that's why I made two batches so you can have one batch One for me day. and then one for the party. Yes, I oh. like the way you think. Wait, are you having some too or what's the deal I there? Buy, well, I snuck some. Uh, okay, let's see, I'll just make sure we're not missing anything in here, you guys. You guys are so awesome. Ryan Kennedy, what up? Devin, what up? Um, people are just... Oh my gosh, this one's been watching since Brex was born. It's uh, Faze Nick. Time. That's a long time ago, Brex Doodle. Been oh, watching yeah. since I broke my leg at the skate park, says Laura. Ooh, yeah. You guys, he just barely had the anniversary of that not too long ago, so. I know, one, uh, like a year ago, we did that funny, uh, went back to the skate park and I wrapped myself in bubble wrap. Yeah. It, it, guys, you gotta watch that video. That just randomly came to me. Like, that's hilarious. And at the time, like, we didn't really have a major following, I don't feel like. So not many people no. saw that. You should, it's worth watching. I'll try and link it somehow. It's hilarious. I the literally, whole thing. she fully wrapped me in bubble wrap and pulled me across the skate But even park. like the actual break is a little bit funny. It's not like funny. When it's I shattered like... two of my bones in my leg. <laughs> 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 Who wears no shoes at the skate park? Me. Okay. I was even So scared. it's just funny that he like lays there and you guys, without even saying a naughty word, he goes, oh shoot. <laughs> And some and kid's like, are you okay? I think it was a crew. He's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I just broke my leg. <laughs> it was great. obvious. I mean, I definitely broke it. It was, sorry, uh, we're eating here, making recipes, but it was like, kink. like just barely did not come out of my leg. It was Yeah, cool. anyway, um, that was kind of funny. I also last night watched Crew's Broken Collarbone. I was up late watching Dan and Shell and Jared and Britt's channels. I don't know why. I just randomly kind of, ended up I got online. like immersed in YouTube and you're like, I don't even know how to get out. <laughs> I started watching Crew's video of his broken collarbone and it broke my heart a little because Hazy was so little and she like wasn't even using words yet. And I was watching me try and entertain these three kids in the doctor's office and I was just like, oh man, that was hard. But it was like I don't know, crew looks so I, little and... Well, today on our Facebook page, oh, really quick, let me just throw this out there. So today on our Facebook page, I shared a memory from seven years ago with Ryler and crew. They were only two boys at home at the time and they had on their uh, St. Patrick's Day shirts. Oh Anyways, gosh. so it's very fun to stroll by memory lane. Real quick, our Instagram is not allowing us to post to our feed. We have no idea why. We've reached out to Instagram. We can do stories, no problem. But if you've noticed that the feed did not post yesterday and hasn't posted today, we wanted to post a really fun picture of all of us in matching ties. It's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day post. Um, unfortunately, something's up. There's a glitch. We've logged in, out, everything we can possibly think of to do. Deleted the app, reinstalled it. Not working. So, uh, in the meantime, stories are working on Instagram. Of course, you can see us here every day at noon mountain time. And then we also have a Facebook page, Twitter account, Snapchat that we never get on. We're all over. You can't get away from us. Forever. Yeah, sorry. We're taking over the internet. Uh, guys, we love you. We gotta wrap this up. We, gotta we love you guys so much. Thank you for being such a great and huge part of our lives. And we are so lucky to have every single one of you. So thank you so much. And a huge happy St. Patrick's Day. And a one, two, three. Thank, thank you. you. We, we love you. you. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Have an awesome Sunday. You guys rock. We'll make some popcorn. See you later. Send it.